Welcome, and thank you for choosing IT Magazine On Demand. We're dedicated to telling stories that fuel your passion and drive more pro-social action. It's your world. What will you do with it? Together, we can make a difference. Enjoy the show. IT Magazine acknowledges and appreciates the generous contributions of our sponsors. Meet LaVon Pepper Pear Davis. She was the catcher for the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League during World War II. Gina Davis played her in the movie A League of Their Own, and Pepper consulted on that film. Today, she is frail and homebound, and Valley Interfaith Council delivers hot lunch to her five days a week. Pepper is one of many amazing, inspirational seniors served by Vic. I have no use for the baby pampered athletes of today. And they are in all sports. I'm not going to narrow baseball down. But I did rewrite Take Me Out of the Ball Game. Take me out of the ball game. I don't think I can play. I've got a headache and a hangnail too. What's more, I think I'm coming down with the flu. So please take me out of the ball game. If we don't win, it's a shame. But I'll still get my one, two, three million a year at the old ball game. And I tell them, guys, if the glove fits, wear it. I can't say that I have enjoyed getting old. And um, actually, I never admitted to it until I got to the 80s. But you cannot say you're young when you're 80. My name was LaVon Pear, my maiden name, and I got nicknamed real early in life Pepper because I had red hair. I'm afraid that I have lost my appeal, but in my day I wasn't too shabby. Hair was red, the eyes were blue. Now the eyes are red and the hair is blue. But <laughs> and that's uh, what you call a Pepperism. When I was nine years old, I was playing on a local softball team. Uh, before that, I played on local neighborhood baseball teams because my brother was 18 months older than me. He, in order to, you know how you choose up teams, in order to get my brother, he would say, well, you got to take my sis. So I like to kid him and say, yeah, but a year later, in order to get me, they had to take you. <laughs> and he will still tell you today that he said to me, sis, if I had your arm, I'd have been in the majors. That's where my baseball came from at a very early age, playing for a little grocery store at the age of nine during the Depression. If we won, we got to go to the grocery store, we got a brown paper bag, and whatever we could get in that bag, we got to take home. I learned very, very young that if you want to bring home the bacon, you got to win. We played from 120 to 130 ball games in four months. You know, you didn't have the convenience of laundries that you do today and there we had like maybe one night stand in, a ho in one hotel and you didn't have time to get laundry done. So a lot of times you'd wash your skivvies out at the hotel and then you had to get on the bus so we <laughs> hang our skivvies out the window. <laughs> Picked up quite a following that way I tell you. Not only that when I hung my bra out the window we were usually late for the games because of paratroop effect you know. I went back <clears throat> during the war it was 1944. My brother was flying 33 missions in the South Pacific with my fiance on a B-24 bomber. And I started playing baseball. In 1945, my brother's plane was shot down and they were missing in action. They were missing in action for like 11 days. Then we got, a tele we got a, a V-mail letter from my brother saying that he was okay. And he said, all the members of the crew send their love. And he named them and he did not name my fiance. And I knew that would have been the first name on the list. So I knew he had been killed and he was a nose gunner and he had been killed. They had a crash landing. I had gone out that very night that I got the phone call from my mom and she got to me. I never missed a ball game. I went out and played with tears in my heart and went back home at night and cried myself to sleep. I played baseball all those years ago, and then I got married and had my family, and instead of Pepper Pear, the ball player, I became LaVon, Pepper Pear Davis, the wife, the mother, the grandmother now, and I would dearly love to be Pepper Pear Davis, the great-great-grandmother, because that's what life is all about. And my mom told me when I was 12 years old and diving into third base, LaVon, when you get older, your body's going to pay. 
Well, she was right. And all of our bodies pay when we get older. But you know what? That's, that's part of uh, what you get out of life. You've got to pay for it. That's part of all the joy you got and the joy you're going to get tomorrow and the joy you're going to get the next day. And I can live with these aches and these pains and I can live barely being able to walk because I'm mentally strong and I'm strong in my heart. I mean, I'm so lucky. I have a wonderful family. I've got uh, two sons and a daughter and I have four grandchildren. You just have to look upon it, not what you lost, but what you get, what you get back. And you get back all the time. Vic needs your financial support to continue honoring the legacies of very special seniors across the San Fernando Valley by empowering them to remain independent, aging in place, safely and comfortably in their own homes. Your donation provides homebound seniors with nutritious food, wheelchair-equipped medical transportation, free home repairs, house cleaning assistance, help with bathing and dressing, emergency response pendants, and regular telephone checkups to make sure they have everything they need. In addition, Vic's Food Pantry Coalition serves families in need and food-challenged individuals of all ages. Visit our website at vic-la.org to donate today and check out volunteer opportunities with Vic. Thank you for your generosity. These It Magazine stories are made possible by contributions from viewers like you. If you'd like to help these change makers or others like them, join us at itmagazine.net. Thank you for choosing It Magazine. Check out more stories in our Organization Spotlight and Heroes and Innovators sections. You'll find out new ways charities, social entrepreneurs, and innovations are making a difference today. It's your world. What will you do with it? Join us at itmagazine.net and fuel your passion.